Hi, welcome to my side hustle episode two, bootstrapping a business plan or starting in a direct response copywriting. Now that I know I wanna do direct response copywriting, what's next? Um, I like to start with the purpose in mind and in this case, it would be getting the first paying client. So whatever the plan is, it should focus on getting this done. And the general sort of a pathway seems to be, first of all, identify companies that already use copywriting services and convince them to give me a shot to, to do, you know, a project with them. What's great about this is that you don't need to persuade anyone about benefits of copywriting, explain them what direct response copywriting is. There are companies called publishers um, that are already doing it all day, every day in huge quantities. And the only thing you need to convince them of is that you know, you're, you're the guy who should be writing these ads. So, um, the, in terms of details, it seems to be you, you know, to, to, to find these publishing companies, you should go to a search engine and start typing in keywords that relate to whatever niche you want to be writing ads for. In my case, it will be uh, financial newsletters because well, one, apparently it's a very lucrative field, but then two, um, have background in investing. And this is something I could read and, you know, learn about just like spending time. I just enjoy, you know, um, reading about investments. So, so in my case, I would go, I already went and then type in stuff like best stocks to buy is now stuff like that. And then literally start clicking on every ad you see. And then you usually see a tons of ads, you know, usually the ones you ignore. Now you want to look for them. And once you start clicking on this, they will start taking you in this funnels, which is page after page of some material trying to convince you to finally put your credit card in some final page, which is also known as a landing page. So you want to go through all these funnels and then you want, you don't need to buy anything, but you, you want to put your email every time they ask for it, you know, to get some notifications or like some offers, free newsletters, whatever you want to opt in into all these funnel so that you could start receiving emails from these guys so you could start learning what's on the market what kind of ads are running how what ads are popular what's working and most importantly what companies are spending money on direct response copywriting right now so that you could go and you know solicit them for business so um w once you do that you would essentially have hundreds of emails coming your way every day and by the way which is a good idea to create a separate email address just, you know, to keep all this stuff separate from your other emails. And you would start clicking on these ads and then, you know, start learning about what's on the market, right? And um, after that, you would just need to um, find an ad that you like, a publisher that you like, and convince them to give you a shot, you know, to, to, to work with you on their next project to hire you as a copywriter. And one way to go about it is to basically just show them what you're capable of, which basically means to send them some of the samples of your work, um, your, your, your writing pieces, right? Like examples of your ads. And what's cool about this industry, it seems like most people don't really care, you know, what you worked in the past, what you've done in the past in terms of, you know, what kind of ads you already had, you've done um, in this niche. All that matters is, can you write an ad that will sell our products, like right now. Uh, which means you could literally take, uh, and this is idea from the Reddit post I mentioned in the last video, you can take uh, one of their funnels, which you already know about, when, because you, you, you that's how you found these guys, and you can uh, learn a lot about their products because they provide a lot of information in, in, in these advertisements about the products they're trying to sell you on. And you take in all that information, you take out all the marketing stuff, all the like advertisement stuff, and then you rewrite this ad essentially. You, know, you put a new spin on it, and, and then you present it as your sample to, to, to this guy, something like, hey, um, I really like your offer because like X, Y, Z, I'm a direct response copywriter, and I thought about this idea of how you could frame this ad in a new unique way that should help with conversion. Let's talk if you find this interesting. And you know, if they like it, they, they, they will reply. And there you go, you have your first client. Now, obviously this brings us to the easiest part, which is uh, writing the sample. And, um, and I think this is where there's many ways, well actually three main ways uh, you can go about it. It depends on, well, 
your situation. But I think that the three general buckets are to go going the most prudent uh, route, going the quickest path, and then going some kind of like a balanced approach. Um, I'm going with the quickest path, but before that, let's look into details of each of the options in more details first. Uh, I think the most prudent one would be um, on top of learning from the existing funnels and existing you know, advertisements on the market, which, which basically means you will not only read them, but you also analyze them, trying to understand the structure, basically reverse engineer them, like why this sentence is here, why this information is there, and also try to retype it or um, copy it by handwriting just to get a feel of the process of how to create ads. Very helpful, by the way. And on top of all this, you would also maybe decide to do a course, maybe several courses, like big courses, you know, the one that takes some time, you know, a bit of a time commitment to complete and efforts. Uh, these are also usually paid courses. You could also, you know, start, um, you know, reading, get, get, getting down, like getting through all the like famous books in the industry, most important books in the industry, maybe most important blogs. Maybe even joining Mastermind, going to conference, finding a mentor, all this before you even try to get your first client. The quickest path would be just to focus on the existing funnels. So you look at the what's on the market and you're trying to learn from that. And you just, after that, you know, you just go and try to get your first client. And the balance approach would be something in the middle. You know, maybe you decide to do a free course. Uh, there's a lot of those, uh, very quick ones. Some, some of them take like a day to complete. Uh, maybe you would read a book or two, and then maybe you would, you know, get somebody to help you out before you uh, try to go out and uh, get into this business. So whatever is in the middle. Now, I don't think there's like a wrong way to go about it. I think whichever way works, works, you know, for any given situation. Um, one thing I do notice sometimes with people who go the most prudent route is that, you know, the purpose becomes to just keep learning and preparing and which is fine if that, that is the purpose. But if your purpose is to make money and work in the industry, then, you know, make sure you, you get to the point where you actually pull the trigger and, you know, trying to put yourself out there and, 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 and get some clients. Now, um, the reason I'm going the quickest route is because, because of th three reasons. I think one is, um, as I was going through the funnels and reading the all these sales pages, I just got a feeling that this is something I could do as is. I might be wrong. Um, we'll learn in time. But at this point, I just feel like this is something I am capable of doing already. Um, and then number two is, I think in general, when it comes to like skills, um, I prefer learning by doing rather than like studying. Um, I like to do my own mistakes and then learning from my own mistakes. It kind of tells me which areas I should be focusing on the most. It's just something that I know works for me in the past. And, you know, that's what I'm going with. And number three is, I think in this case, if it fails, I can always go back and take a more balanced approach or take a more, um, you know, maybe the most prudent pathway if, if need be. So, so I think, you know, there is no real risk here because there's a lot of publishers and there's a lot of funnels. If something doesn't work out, you can always just, you know, um, restart and start over. Right. So, um, so yeah, uh, th th this is my reasoning, and I think this is basically um, the plan. What's uh, and actually, I've been this past week, I've been clicking on all the ads uh, like that I always ignored before, and start you know reading um, what's on the market, and um, I actually found these one publisher and even this one editor that I think I like and I could see myself working with and trying to, you know, they have the products that I think I would want to promote. Um, it all started with, uh, I think I just saw an ad and I saw a headline, something like uh, about cannabis stocks and it's just something happened that I, 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 I'm i interested in cannabis stocks in general. I just think it's a growing industry and there could be interesting opportunities there. But also what caught my eye is that it was like, profitable cannabis stock, which is, you know, unheard of, all of them are losing money. So I clicked on it, uh, it just triggered my interest. And as I was reading the article, which is not really an article, it's called um, advertorials, which is like, looks like an article, but actually it's advertisement because they're trying to sell you something at the bottom of the page. Um, so as I was reading the advertorial, 
I just liked it. it was very well researched. There was a lot of good information that I could use, you know, for my investment decisions. And I liked the way they presented it. Investment thesis made sense to me. So I, I just thought it was like a good work, something, you know, something, you know, I could see myself promoting. So I clicked on the, on the links at the, at the bottom and started going through all this funnel of like, they usually try to offer you some free stuff and then, you, you go down the funnel and then eventually they lead you to some kind of a landing page where they sell a financial newsletter, uh, their main subscription, and they ask you for a credit card. So I went there, I, I, I didn't buy anything, but I opted in um, along the way and then I found a publishing company. It's kind of like a mid-sized publishing company, pretty good um, from, from the outside. It's been registered with a Better Business Bureau for like over 10 years, has like A plus rating there, um, has three point seven stars i think rating on a stock gumshoe which is a cool website where investment professionals come in and they're trying to figure out what stocks uh, these publishing companies are talking about in their teasers so that people don't have to buy the newsletter subscription yeah uh, they usually write apparently and uh, it's actually pretty cool to be featured on that website because it means your teaser your whatever you add was like very interesting so that people try to figure out what, what stock you're talking about so, um, and they also even posted their track record on one of the websites. I kind of found it's like too good to be true, to be honest, but, uh, you know, I'll look more into it if, if they let me to get, gain access to their backend so that I could see all their stuff, like what they, what they've been working on in the past, you know, what they're working on right now. But in general, yeah, this is a very interesting industry because unlike, um, you know, mutual funds and wealth management guys, like any institutional financial services out there these areas like i don't think it's regulated as strictly if, if at all so there's a lot of ways to muddy the waters in terms of how you present your investment track record so yeah just something to to keep in mind um but yeah that's that's the plan that's what we're gonna do and i could see uh three ways going forward one is i will write a sample for one of their funnels and then I'll find the person, uh, the publisher, the, the main guy who is hiring copywriters and I will, you know, send it to them and then they will be like, yeah, great, let's work. So that's awesome. But then it could be another scenario where maybe we, we don't get to work together for whatever reason, but then I could use same samples that I wrote for them and, you know, get a project in some other publishing company that, that, that could happen too. And that's a pretty good option too. And then there's a third option, which is like, this sample doesn't bring me anything. It's completely dead. Um, in which case I would have to go back and rework the sample. And again, I think there would be probably several ways to go about it. I'm thinking most likely I'll try to reach out to somebody in the industry and trying to show them my work and, you know, tell me what, what's the main issue with it and, you know, trying to rework that and then get back to the market. So yeah, that's the video. Oh, and uh, before, before we go, um, actually last time, last time I uploaded the video, I went back on Reddit and I saw a new post for, from the same guy that I've talked about last week. Uh, but then he had like a pretty cool story where he, 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 he was talking about his sister. You see his sister, she lost her job like six months ago. She had like some regular desk job, I think. And she asked uh, this guy, which is her brother to, teach her how to do direct response copywriting. And uh, so he started recording uh, tutorial videos for her because he lives in Thailand and then she lives in, in, in the US. So he would record all these videos and try to teach her, try to like give her resources, like would tell her what courses to buy and so forth. Um, and and then she got a job, like six months in, she got a job at a, one of the publishing companies for like writing short uh, format copies, which is like supporting copies to the to the main sales page. And she would be getting like $5,000 a month, which is, which is really good. So, um, but what's even cooler about this whole thing is that now he posted um, these videos, uh, you know, for everyone so that, you know, everyone could uh, could learn from them and I'll put all the links uh, in into the description but um, so you should definitely check it out if, if you're interested in copywriting there's a lot of good stuff there um, yeah so yeah that's the video well, next week depending on how this week will go we will either talk about getting the first client hopefully but most likely you know we'll talk about maybe some mechanics of writing a copy like writing a sales page whatever I learned 
and or maybe even getting a mentor right whichever whichever happens so yeah until then have a great week everyone